Hey, hey, Denise Willick Peterson here, making meals better. Tonight we are gonna do a traditional bodybuilding meal of tuna burgers and asparagus for me. And well, not for Ken, he's doing his own thing. But that also means Denise gets to cook a little bit while Ken grills. So, all right, Ken. Hello, Deba. <laughs> <laughs> There, you happy? Yeah, I am. All right, so first of all, I've been talking about protein a lot with the girls in my midsection meltdown group. Protein can be as hard or as easy as you want. So tonight, because I'm making tonight's meal and I'm making tomorrow's lunch, two cans of tuna, but otherwise you get four ounces in one can, guys. And that is, two ounces, drain, two servings, da, 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 da. da. That, that's 20 grams of protein if you eat the whole can. So, and then an egg. Ken informed me maybe, maybe my last attempt at the tuna burgers was too runny because I used an egg per can and that maybe isn't right. So, first we're gonna put those together and then I got a couple different ways I'm gonna season them. So that's why I got two bowls tonight. And yes, I used to make the tuna burgers all the time, but it's been Well, I was 30 when I did that bodybuilding years. show. I was 30 when I did that bodybuilding show. And I ate a lot of tuna burgers then, right? So, egg. That was 20 years ago. You better celebrate my 50th birthday in hindsight then, mister. All right, so I am gonna season them both with cumin because, you know, why not? Because it's different. We gotta go get cumin next time, dear. And turmeric. Put it on the list, dear. Yep. I'm gonna stir that up. And then, so I'm gonna do it with two different things. If you're gluten-free, I'm gonna test it out with coconut oatmeal or coconut flour. I've never done that before. And if you're not gluten-free, well, I'm gonna use breadcrumbs on the other bit, right? So we'll test it out with both and let you know. So just regular old coconut flour for you gluten-free peeps. Mm -hmm. Scoop. I think that's a couple tablespoons. And breadcrumbs, regular. Couple tablespoons. Yep, couple <laughs> tablespoons. Amy just popped on. Hey, Amy, how you doing? Barry just popped on. Barry. Teresa just popped on. Holy smokes, everybody wants to know how to make tuna burgers. Yay. The grossest thing we made yet. That's only according to you. I think some of that stuff we've made has been questionable. There's definitely stuff we won't make again. But there's other stuff. Yum. Okay, so... Yeah, that one's sticky enough. Is that one sticky enough, dear? I don't know. Well, we'll see. I'm looking through the phone. Yeah, we'll see. So make them as big or as small as you want. Ken's got pretty bur burgers out there, so... How many are you making? Well, I don't want it all as one, so probably should put my stuff, put your stuff on first. I don't know. I'm making two with breadcrumbs, definitely two with coconut flour, so we'll see which one holds up better. How do you know which is which? Mm, they look different. That's how they look different. Amy says it's good to try. You're right. Always we should try. I don't think so. I know, right? You'd think he could try. Obviously he's not trying to convince any kids that he's going to eat it, right? Oh, wow. Well. Canned tuna is not that good warm. Well, sometimes we do what we got to do in order to, you know, make it work, right? Sometimes we eat things. But then again, so Ken makes you know, tuna fillets. Tuna what? Oh, fillets. And then I like dill weed on the top of mine, so it's going on top of all of them because I like it that way. You'll notice we already got asparagus cut up in a brand new grilling pan. Is it gonna work? We're gonna check it out. I don't know. Okay, we'll see. All right, Ken, let's well, come out here. Oh, I gotta grab my things. Oh, okay. Gotta see what Ken's having? My dinner. Bacon cheeseburgers. 
Come on, Jerry. I'm gonna make him dizzy. He told me not to walk with people. <laughs> All right. Here, I'll hold this while you uh. do that. All right, get away from there. Oh, she's the queen. She stole a donut today. Can you believe that? She stole a donut. She should have left it where she can get to it. Just like I didn't tell me all the leave time. it where she could get to it. She got it, didn't she? I know. She's a tricky little thing. She's learning to use her paws it and, was her, delicious. and her feet. It would have been delicious. What's Maybe what? put the asparagus on first or put my burgers up top. Why? I'm Look at how skinny they are compared to yours. Yeah. Can't put the asparagus on first. Uh. Anybody got a pan like that? Oh, the puppies think it's for them. So that was a spritz of olive oil, a heavy spritz. And that's just vegetable seasoning, guys, because it's good to try different things on your asparagus, too. Now, usually I like asparagus. Until we got this basket, we just laid it on the grill, right? So we're testing yeah. this out. All right, try it. We might have to pull mine off earlier, that's all. What's what? It doesn't matter. It's all, like, do you think it's gonna cook different? I don't think so. I just think they're skinny. They're like, right, because it's four ounces. So these are like two ounces burgers. These are like McDonald's burgers, quarter pounders. No, they're not even quarter pounders. They're millipounders. Anyway, this is how we make lunch for tomorrow. Ken's also got some potatoes all sliced up, wrapped in there with whatever. Okay. Well, so, letting all yeah. the heat go bye-bye. <laughs> Carrie says, good job listening to your wife. About what? Hard to say, but we like it. <laughs> Hi, Melody. How you doing? All right, guys. So here's what's on the grill. Here's what's cooking. we got asparagus, bacon, cheeseburgers for Ken, tuna burgers for me, taters tucked in there. Ken made himself a salad already. I didn't make a salad. I got sliced tomatoes and I got lettuce for my burgers. Which is usually what he calls and a pickles. salad. And a pickle. And a pickle. pickle. So welcome to our first day of grilling in the spring. Ooh, without even jackets. Isn't that fantastic? We'll shoot you back a picture for putting the asparagus on. Hey, we'll see what happens. We'll shoot minutes. you guys pictures later. Enjoy your sunny Minnesota afternoon.